Yeah. Well, you sure brought your uh, gloves in. And a hat. You know? A hot. A hot. A hot hat. A hot hat. Well, welcome to part three. We're still on our journey about half an hour later. Oh, three parts. Huh? Three parts, that's right. I, I'm glad we didn't lose him back there. <laughs> I was running. Yeah, yeah, he was running. He thought he, he thought he lost his marbles, but I just felt tired out, it's all in your head. You got marbles in your head. <laughs> well, my hands are all nice and toasty warm now that we're going back to the house, even though we're probably not going to stop there, we're just going to go get some pop or whatever. So we still got. A little journey here, but it's not going to be as far now. Oh, well, we found a bridge, a magic bridge. <laughs> I feel like we're in Lake Bronson now. We're just, you know, <laughs> so if it rains outside, we're, we're protected until it turns into glitter ice, and then we're sliding. You know, like we're like at home alone. <laughs> yeah, we get a nice shot at the golf course. Hey, we can play golf, hit some balls or whatever here. Yeah. That would hurt. With our four iron. That would hurt. <laughs> yes, it would. Yeah. Be like four. <laughs> take out somebody's, take out somebody's vehicle, yeah. pop somebody's tire. <laughs> oh yeah. Gets really, really nice around here where it's like summertime and stuff. But I don't know. The fact is, it's kind of cold outside. It's, you know, and you can tell that the ground is pretty much frozen. But I just don't understand why, you know, I'm actually pretty surprised that we haven't had much snow this year. Yeah. I mean, right, by now, I mean, it's already almost the end of the year, and it, by now there would be, like, crap loads of snow where you could, where we'd probably get stuck right now if we were walking. Yeah. yeah. Where it would be, like, five feet of snow, where all of a sudden we'd, be, we'd think it would be a safe spot to go on, and all of a sudden we'd, like, fall right through, like... It's like, do you feel like this is going to break? It's like, nah, it'll be fine. And all of a sudden, ah! And like, like, we're like in a hole and we can't get out. And we're like yelling for help. Help, help, you know. And nobody hears us. And we, so, yeah, don't go across the road because there's a car coming. But yeah, so we're just still on our little journey. I figured this would be a good chat. <laughs> Tyrell. Of course, Tyrell's always good at listening to me now. Now you see what I'm talking about there, Jen, if you watch this video. I tell him not to do something, but he does it anyway. <laughs> anyway, so. But. I don't know, I just think it's just kind of. <laughs> okay, you know. Stay here, stay by my side. Here. I hope nobody minds that I recorded an Ernie Gieske. You know, the guy who looks like Ronnie Dangerfield, you know. Trying to introduce his last brother, Ernie Eski. So, yeah, it's it's nice. Now we're... When you go on this road, it doesn't feel like it's as long as what we just were, or where we just come from, because where we just come from, it was like a long, longer journey, because it felt like it was never going to end. But it did end. And now we're back on the road. Well... Should we go on? Should, should we ask if we can go in the house? <laughs> no, we don't do that. I used to do that all the time back when I was a little kid, but I think it'd be a little weird if I if I did it now at the age of 28. Yeah, can we have some? Can we uh, come to your house and have some milk and cookies or whatever? And <laughs> can I use the bathroom? Because I really gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, so we're just we're just having some fun here, and you know, there ain't much really to do but to walk. And I'm bored to death. I think I'll probably go back to the house and watch. Uh, the family guy and and uh, oh we are but well, I'm talking afterwards you know we'll watch that episode, new episode together it's called Grumpy Old Man you know? kind of a parody of Grumpy Old Men kind of you know with Walter Matthau and Jack Lemon Lemonade you know? who doesn't enjoy who doesn't enjoy a little Grumpy Old Man you know I mean that's I do. a classic film you know when, when uh, Walter Matthews uh, saying to somebody like, "Hey, dickhead!" <laughs> yeah, I like that forty-five musky you're always talking about, or yakking about here. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's just kind of all types of fun, anyway. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little two-part mini video here. Uh, get used to it, because until I figure out how to how to get this to be rendered in a bigger quality, I'm thinking because of the connection that this is probably as good as it's going to get for now. And I don't have to always make 20 
I don't have to make long videos all the time. And if I do, it'll probably just be like 4x3 videos. Because I do have that option on this to go back to 4x3 if I want to. So maybe for some of the longer ones I do. Besides, you know, going to Astoria, Oregon, because I want to kind of film like a little mini documentary. That's why I want to go over there. I'm kind of show the sights and to go. Well, show the sights and sounds of, uh, of Oregon, of the Goonie House. And Almost getting ran over my semi truck. Whoa, let's go. Holy moly. There you go. Now you get some sights and sounds here. <laughs> that was freezing. Holy moly. <laughs> I want to go to Neverlasting Summer. Everlasting Summer? You mean Everlasting God Shopper? Anyway, peace and chicken grease and uh, and beans and disease to you all. So we'll see you next time on. We'll see you next year actually for more Frank Sausage Show fun. Bye bye.